So if you guys remember last few sessions, we did this project that is related to the coronavirus situation as well, that we want ourselves to eat more vitamin, which is orange, and dodge away from the virus. And each time the monkey eats the orange, we gain some points. And then each time the virus hit the monkey, um, you'll see. So yeah, we lose one score. And if you guys click on my project, you would be able to see the remix button as well. And because this is already my project, I don't see the remix um, button there. And what I'll do is to go inside and I want to make some uh, adjustment to this project. And so I think the adjustment that I'm going to make is to simply have an additional source of vitamins such that my monkey could be healthier. And um, let's do that. So let's say um, this additional feature of our game is whenever we press the space bar, an, an apple would appear on the screen. So just so just now what I did very quickly was um, click on choose the sprites at the bottom right corner and this will pop up. And yeah, basically I am choosing the apple. It could be a banana or other things as well. Um, so, so yeah, you can see the sprite is here. And what we want to do is to simply cho go back to the orange. So remember the orange is already kind of doing what we want the apple to do which is to move from the left hand side of the screen all the way to the right hand side and after they after it hits the edge of the wall uh, of the screen it will come back to the left side and then go all the way again and every time the orange hit the monkey the score goes up by five so it's pretty much what we want except that this time we're not asking the apple to change uh, to start moving with space but we want the apple to start moving uh, so we want we don't want the apple to start moving with a green flag but we want the apple to start moving with a space bar key so what we want to do just now I quickly did was to click a uh, duplicate function and I'm going to drop that into Apple. Okay, so the duplicate function is slightly problematic sometimes, but just have to do it a few times. And um, yeah, you can see that here also kind of like has two duplicated here. So now that I have this one, you can see that this is a forever block that has uh, the apple every time it goes to x axis of 206, which is kind of on the left hand side, and and then pick a random y coordinates between 120 and uh, minus 120 to positive 120, which is basically the whole um, vertical uh, axis of the screen. And you want to repeat this until either you touch the edge of the screen or touch the monkey. And so every like until you touch the edge of the monkey, you want to keep on changing the x coordinate of apple by three and that is meaning that okay we want the apple to move to the right hand side um, three units of x coordinate each step and every time we touch the monkey we will change the score by five and we could actually change this 
into maybe the apple is more powerful than the orange, then we can just change it. Okay, let's make it like 10. And then maybe because it's more powerful, we will make it harder to uh, catch. And which means that we want the X axis to actually change faster. So a little bit faster speed. So you might wonder, okay, well, now that I have added the apple there, why is it not changing? Um, well, that's because there's no events block yet, right? So we need an event block to update the apples, um, to trigger the apple to move. So this time, remember our goal was to trigger our apple to move whenever we have um, whenever we have pressed the space bar. And so I have gone into the events block and chose this block called space key pressed. And that's it. So we just need to um, snap that into the forever block. You'll hear a snapping sound normally. And let's see how that goes. So I'm gonna start the game. I'll stop the game first. And press this. And let me press now the space bar. Oops. Okay. okay. Seems like I'm this is working pretty well. It's moving faster for sure, faster than the orange and also faster than the virus. And let's see if my score is going up the way I want it. Okay, yeah, I went from 104 to 114 and looks pretty good. And the only thing that I would not like, I, I feel like we could change this is, let's go back to here, right? So do you see this, that like the, when I stop the game and restart it, the apple is just here and it's kind of like not moving until I press the space bar. But then if I don't press the space bar ever, the apple is just lingering here and it doesn't make a lot of sense. So what we can do is to first make the apple invisible by pressing here. So if you see here, I would just choose this the uh, invisible sign and so nicely that the apple is disappearing whenever we start the game that at least there's no apple and it's kind of like the secret weapon that we can call out with a space bar key and um, so now I press a space well now that I press a space key I need some way to ask the apple to show up. So luckily Scratch has made it really easy for us and all we need to do is to click into the looks drawer and choose the show block. So here is we are programming the apple sprite that whenever we press the space bar we want it to show. We want the apple to show up. There we go. So I press the space bar and right away the app will show up. Yep. So this is a much better implementation of the, the game that um, we are able to first hide the apple and then only if we press the space bar, um, this apple will show up. But the only thing that you can see here is that now that I've played the game once, because the apple has shown up on the screen, it's not disappearing even if I remove, um, even if I press the red uh, stop button. And if I press the green flag again, it again is stuck there. So it's not great. And what we need to do is to add an additional block to ask the game to every time we start the game, the apple needs to 
hide itself. So how we will do it is to go inside our events block and again find our green flag uh, block and this time we don't want to use the show block but we want to use the hide block so the hide block is basically the opposite of show and it basically tell scratch that we are going to hide our apple every time we start the game and only if I press the space key that the apple would show up and let's see if that works okay so now I have stopped the game I've stopped the game and I am pressing the red uh, pressing the green flag and there we go so the apple is nicely hidden and now I just have this simple game with our orange and virus just looks really nice and clean. And all we need to do is to then now press the space bar. And boom, our apple is now showing up and moving along nicely. And I'm going to pause this video like this uh, stop this game and test it again and see if, if I press the green flag does the apple disappear again okay so the answer is yes we have successfully implemented this project level two so this game is we're, we're implementing the version two of this game so just to recap, what we did was starting with this um, simple project of the um, orange and the virus. And now we wanted to add an apple to our game that only appear if we press the green, for, uh, press the space bar key. And the beauty of this is that uh, we have duplicated uh, the blocks from the orange uh, orange sprites and drag that into the apple sprites and the only thing that is changed from the orange and the apple sprites is the events block is changed from the green flag clicking to the spacebar uh, pressing so here is the main difference and we quickly also realized that um, the apple has been around for the entire time and even if we stop the project uh, if we stop the game and we haven't pressed the space key yet it still keep on showing up and that's not great so we decided to first make our apple uh, disappear here so it's by default uh, invisible and every time we um, press the space key, we will ask the apple to show up using the looks block here. And um, afterwards, we also realized that after the space, after the apple show up, it doesn't disappear with our game stopping. So we then finally added this final block to ask the apple to hide itself every time we start the game and we use we did that by the by using the events block of green flag dot click and also using the looks block of hiding uh, the apple that we did today is a version number two of our eat the vitamins project and we added our apple and learned how to use the event block to help us control the appearance and disappearance of the apple